mind treatment is the way that we establish a, a current in mind. We know that mind is always creating for us that which our thought is upon. So if we want mind to move in right and prosperous directions for ourselves, we've got to take charge of that. So the way that we metaphysicians know to do this is to consciously set out a mold through our word through which the energy, the creative energy can flow to bring us to a new dimension of good. So consciousness to the highest level so that we can communicate with the truth, each one of us. And uh, this morning, as I said, we're talking about the raising of matter. And last night, one of my students said to me, she said, what do you mean levitation? I said, well, not really. <laughs> Although it might be included in that. Um, We've been talking, you know, I like to give sequential talks where we look at uh, a whole body of ideas. And uh, last week, we talked about the ascent of spirit, which is a, a great movement happening right now within all of us and on a global uh, level of uh, consciousness. This, it is like a great waking up that we are universally doing right now us the ascending generation are right now ascending on a collective level in the consciousness of I and the Father or the great life principle are one we're really waking up to the fact that there's no more two there's no more God and me over here but there is God I I God God, man, God, woman, Atman, as one with God. And we're really cognizing this as our true identity. So this is going on, and we call this the ascent of spirit through our consciousness. And we are ascending into now as a collective, into the top place of highest knowing of who we are unifying our consciousness in the highest conception and gut root understanding that there is only one life that we live in, one power that we use and have always used, one presence and one source of all that is streaming throughout all of life in a great unity and that is God or life force, or I am, or whatever you want to call it. So, this inner road of spiritual elevation, which we are on now, and rising into the highest place of knowing the truth about ourselves, is matched at every single level, and is completed at every single point of elevation by the raising of matter. Okay. When I say matter, well, what do I mean? Matter is all that which appears to be outside of us. The form world. Our worlds, in other words, of conditions, self-expression, that which we call physical body or body of circumstance, the effect world, that which we can perceive through our senses, through our outer senses. So we call this matter or form, and the great scientists know that matter is a condensation of the molecular activity of thought, okay? What our bodies, what our physical matter households are, are a condensation of our thoughts about ourselves. Okay? It is a reflection. Also, the matter world is referred to as the mirror. The mirror through which I perceive what my thoughts are on. Okay? So, any type of elevation in spirit, of course, is not complete unless we have touched and alchemized and transformed our matter worlds and all the terrain that that includes. So 
our matter worlds, our effect worlds, our body worlds are the progeny, we understand, of our thought, life. Okay? So, and we now must know, as never before, that it was always the divine idea of true spiritual perfection, that we achieve the divine idea and we complete our cognition and complete the divine idea in the matter or material world, raising up our life, raising up our well-being, our consciousness of love, uh, everything that has to do with what we so-called call materialism, okay, material world. For here is where, in this plane, the evidence of our thought life reflects back to us. Here is where we may exactly measure our success and mastery, how well we're doing. Here is where we transform matter and bring heaven, or high consciousness, to earth. Right? And, and we metaphysicians often call it like a demonstration. We know that we have corrected our consciousness when we see the outer change, which is not born from the outer, it's born from the shift in our consciousness, which has shifted around all that molecular stuff which responds to us to come out as a new manifestation. So we know we are complete, and we know that spirit always moves to complete itself. That which we are as one with perfect spirit in residence, in our perfect consciousness is all the correct knowing and divine ideas about ourselves. And it's our business to bring these ideas through our being, to stream them through, and to bring them right into our worlds. Bring the truth and demonstrate it and make the change right in your world. God gave man, woman, dominion over all the lands, the seas, the earth, over all that is. And this means dominion, natural dominion and mastery over the substance, the earth, the substance, the invisible creative substance. So we must ask ourselves, what are we doing with it? How well are we forming our worlds? And remember, you know, it's like, like Jesus or Buddha, any great master. It is not enough to go up to the mountain and feel fine. You got to bring that mountain to the city and then you know that you're doing the thing, okay? It's not enough for us to be, you know, uh, dumping our bodies in a heap <laughs> and leaving the planet without raising up everything about it, restoring ourselves to perfect health as Christ. You know, if you notice, he didn't leave a body behind him. He took it with him. Not that he went anywhere, but he just, you know, vibrating at a higher uh, level. Okay, so let's keep our consciousness on that we are the completeness of spirit and it is our business to fulfill the divine purpose in expressing who we are and transform everything in our worlds. So how? We say, how do I accomplish this task of bringing the heaven of divine ideas into my world as fact, form, and function, as absolutely all that is on the invisible, invisible planes. Well, I can start by replacing the old ideas that I have, the constricted, limited ideas about myself, with more divine, sublime, godly ideas that reflect your knowing that you are one with the perfection of spirit. So by replacing the old ideas, we commence that raising of the matter of our worlds. Say, what's the matter with me? My matter is the matter, you know? But by replacing the ideas, this is how we start, making that shift in consciousness first. So first, if my world is too dense, too heavy, too encumbered, I feel like I'm under it all the time, what can I do? I must empty myself out of all that encumbrance, just like, you know, pouring water in, just 
empty the entire, you know, activity of mind, empty out your entire instrument. Your body is a divine receiving station, and, and it needs to be clear. So empty myself out of all attachments, distractions, opinions, judgments, and ideas about things. Becoming thus an empty vessel through which now the life of God and truth and highest consciousness may stream anew. I must light myself up first for my world to lighten up. Then as we know, in contemplation and meditation, in the quiet place within, we turn our mind upward, then having cleansed ourselves of all the old ideas, just being willing to let them go, being willing. They haven't worked. What more proof do we need? If something hasn't been worked, working and you've been trying and trying, just say, let me let that go. Let me try a new thing, a more divine thing. Go into your space of meditation and raise your eyes and your ears upward to the high place to receive of new information. Make yourself a receiving. Like Yogananda says, we're like receiving stations, you know, like great radios. And we can receive of this universal mind. Turn our mind upward to receive of the great principle of life, God and love, and to hear the great things that it desires for us. Then in this stance of receptivity, once having the influx, we will receive. All we have to do is ask. All we have to do is say, this doesn't work. Give me a right or idea, you know? All we have to do is ask and listen. Then we receive the influx of the new idea, which then we embody and shall be the new level of our risen life. For divine ideas perfect you. Divine ideas raise you up in everything to do with you.